Hi everyone, this is Jeff James again from Mythology and we're continuing our workshop on meaningful marketing based on the 10 pillars of meaningful marketing. And we're still talking about engagement and one of the critical uh, elements of engaging your target customers in this day and age, of course, is search engine optimization, search engine rankings. Um, a, a huge percentage of consumers or buyers in various industries Obviously, they go to Google, they go to Bing, uh, they go to the big search engines, of course, which Google dominates right now. But it's, it's really transformed how people think about pulling people into their buying funnel that we've talked about in earlier videos. If you remember that buying uh, sort of customer development funnel, it started with awareness and then it sort of moves into interest and action. And what's so great about good search engine marketing is that you are essentially attracting people who are in action mode. They're already interested in searching for a topic that you relate to. Um, they're searching for products, they're searching for services. And so the goal, of course, of search engine marketing is that your company or product is at the top of that list because fundamentally people don't very often go below the first page of search results. And so you want to make sure that your website and your web presence is, uh, is very elevated. So we're going to talk about search engine marketing and search engine optimization at a high level. Um, there's a lot of details to drill into here, but the, right now we're really talking about search engine uh, optimization really as just a, at a strategy level. So let's start um, thinking about this concept. Now, you know, this whole search engine stuff is sort of a mystery to a lot of people and for good reason. Uh, the search engines have an algorithm that uh, essentially uh, dictates what websites are elevated to the top. And you don't necessarily need to know all the gory details of that, but you do need to understand that the search engines are all about trying to find the most relevant websites. Which website is what's going to most closely match what, what these people are searching for. So the first concept to think about for search engines is content. And why is content so critical? Well, if a search engine is trying to get a, a searching consumer to the most relevant site, they're going to look at the content of that site to determine if your site is the most popular and relevant. And so content strategy, not just the keywords, which we're going to talk about, but what actual content, interesting, compelling, uh, useful content is on your website, that drives, that's the base foundation of the search engine uh, optimization triangle. So think about your content. And now what I'd like to do is remember the planning that you did in the understanding pillar. Think about your customer segments, the types of, of emotional and functional needs that they have. If you are building your content based on those needs, then you're by definition going to have the most relevant content. So you can see how all this understanding pillar work that we did in prior videos will help you tremendously in the search engine part. So the first area is make sure you have uh, a lot of content, a lot of relevant content, and frequently updated content. The next part, which many people are a little more used to, is thinking about keywords. Um, now, in the old days, people used to try to trick the search engines by just putting all kinds of you know, keywords and meta tags on their pages, and you'd have all these big long lists of possible terms that people might be searching for. Well, the search engines are a lot smarter these days. They don't really pay that stuff as much attention as they do some of the content. But the key is that nowadays, search engines want to see are the keywords baked into the content. And that's, how, that's one of the ways that they determine if a site or a page is relevant. So you do need to connect your keyword strategy, again, back into your customer segments, back into the types of things that they care about. And the, the, the way that you go about this is essentially to brainstorm on what these keywords are, and then you have to go through a little bit of testing. And the good news is, when you start talking about paid uh, search terms, in other words, not just trying to optimize your site, but actually uh, purchasing keywords where the little ads show up on the right side of the Google screen, for example, that's an excellent way to test which keywords are going to tr attract the most clicks. And then once you've tested them for a very low amount, low cost amount, you can work those results, those keywords that bubble to the top. That's the set of keywords that you're going to infuse in all of your content. So again, there's a whole lot of detail on that that um, a good search engine 
optimization consultant or marketing person can, can help you with, but that's, that's essentially how it works. So keyword strategy is very critical. The next part, which a lot of people are also um, aware of, is link building. What that means is there are a lot of third-party sites that are linking to your site and again, to a search engine, uh, which is again, just an algorithm, they consider the more people that, that point to your site and the more credible sites, in other words, the most uh, influential sites that are pointing back to your site, that's a sign of relevancy and popularity. So um, again, it kind of, in a lot of ways, goes back to content strategy. If you have content that you can share with other sites, maybe you're packaging up some interesting content or videos uh, about uh, a topic or a theme or your product, if you're going to share that content with other sites like blog sites, that's a value to them and that's a good reason for them to also point back to you once that little snippet of content uh, is viewed on their site. So it's, it's kind of a virtuous cycle there in terms of how all this works. But the more people, the more credible and influential people that can point back to your site, the more successful you'll be in the search engine rankings. Finally, uh, again, in this day and age, a major source of traffic to your site is going to be from your social media efforts, Facebook, Twitter. The reason that people really take all that seriously is the more followers and the more uh, retweets, the more people that are passing along your original Facebook update or tweet to other people in their network, the likelihood of more people clicking on the link that goes into that tweet or in that Facebook update, that's going to be traffic back to your site. And again, the search engines look at that and they say, wow, there's, there's a lot of pass along viral value to the content that people are pointing to through social media. And so your social media efforts directly help your social, I'm sorry, your uh, uh, search engine optimization rankings. So search engine is not uh, a short-term um, sort of shortcut strategy. You've got to take it very seriously. You've got to build a foundation of content. The right strategic keywords have to be tested and woven into this content. And then you can go out and build some links across other sites and other third-party uh, pointers. And social media will help bring it all to life with a lot more traffic. So take a look at some of the tools that we've uh, put beside this video so you can sort of evaluate your strategy and we'll see you in the next part of the workshop.